To avoid common problems like scaling, cracking, erosion, spalling, and pop-outs, we're taking a look at how to properly prepare, pour, and finish flat work. Once the old concrete is hauled away, the subgrade must be uniformly excavated and compacted. The crew ensures the subgrade is properly pitched as needed for drainage. Next, mesh, reinforcement, or any other embedments are installed as necessary. A string line and level are used to set the grade at the slab surface, followed up with a layer of aggregate. The aggregate layer is properly compacted, level, and uniform. The aggregate is smoothed with a compactor or a shovel to ensure it is even and properly compacted to necessary density across the surface. It is important to make sure the subgrade is free of frost, ice, snow, standing water, or any other contaminants. The joint spacing is laid out ahead of time and the locations marked along the formwork. Now the crew is ready to pour. A shovel or come along is used to spread the concrete as it's poured from the ready mix truck. It's important to use the necessary tools to ensure the concrete is consolidated up against the formwork. The concrete surface is leveled using a bull float or straight edge. Once the concrete is level, it's important to wait until it stops bleeding before continuing the finishing process. Finishing while the concrete is still bleeding can cause crazing or scaling as working the bleed water in will weaken the surface. When there is no longer a water sheen on the concrete surface, the crew floats the concrete to embed any aggregates. The crew joints the concrete, ensuring that joints are a minimum of one quarter the depth of the slab. The concrete is smoothed with a trowel and the surface is textured with a broom as needed. Avoid using steel trowels for finishing. Steel troweling traps air or moisture at the surface and could cause scaling. Avoid dipping the broom in water before brooming to avoid discoloration. The concrete is allowed to cure, ensuring it reaches the optimal PSI. A topical curing compound is used to ensure the surface does not dry out and weaken prior to complete hydration. Curing compound should be added as soon as the concrete stiffens enough to prevent marring or erosion on the surface. If the weather is too hot, dry, or windy, use an evaporation retarder to prevent moisture loss prior to final finishing. Do not add additional water to the surface, as this will change the water to cement ratio. Following this process and these tips will help avoid those common problems, saving the crew and the customer time and money.